What's up, everybody? Welcome to Talk It Off, Season 2, Episode 4. Um, really excited. We There was another one we were going to do, and then we realized that we were so backed up with episodes that if nothing was current. So yeah. now this is the most current we've been with Talk It Off in a while. Yeah. We're recording we were talking this. about uh, the, the Gangnam style in the last podcast, so yeah. we decided maybe we needed to, to yeah, It's this new thing, it. right? Yeah. I mean, I love that the dance Jake. Oh, Pretty yeah, cool. what's this thing going on? Yeah. Wow. I almost forgot about that entirely. <laughs> I got hurt for that once. We should yes. circle back oh, yeah, to that. Oh, yeah, you did. We have yeah. a story to tell for those who might not know it. Um, but before we get into that, well, before we get into there's so much we want to talk about with you today, because we're recording this literally, like I think, two days before it comes out. So very current. Yeah. Um, but speaking of current... In less than a month, we are leaving for tour. Back out on the road. Cannot wait. Uh, for those that were following us along when we were doing the Sum 41 Simple Plan Tour, there was uh, three cities that got left out due to uh, COVID, co- to the COVIDity of it all. And uh, that was New York City at, uh, the Pier- at Pier 17 and Asbury Park, New Jersey at Stone Pony, as well as Palladium in Worcester, Massachusetts. Stone Pony sold so well that they added a second date. So these are makeup dates. So... We're going to be there August 25th in New York City, August 26th and 27th in New Jersey at Stone Pony and 28th in Worcester, Massachusetts at the Palladium. Um, So those dates are being made up. What? You know what you should do now? What? You should go through the list of the tour dates that we have. Oh, yeah. And see how fast you can say them. Okay, yeah. We're going to do this like it's the... um, like we're, we're advertising a very detrimental medication and then there's like (laughs) 30,000 side effects at the end. All right, here we go. Yeah. So here are the headline dates we have coming up. I know we've been talking about Canadian to, uh, dates, which there are plenty, but there's also a ton of U.S. dates. So uh, buckle up. Here we go. Three, two, one. We are playing in Montreal, Canada. Ne- oh, whole, I'm I'm already slowing down. I can't pronounce this one. <laughs> Nepean? Nepean? Fired. Bro. I'm fired immediately. Fired. I got my one shot. The Nepeans are going to be really upset with you. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I want to say I want to say it sounds more exotic, like Nepon, Canada. Well, anyways, I'm just going to try to rip through these. Montreal, Canada. Nepean, Canada. Toronto, Canada. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Columbus, Ohio. Fort Wayne, Indiana. St. Louis, Missouri. Newport, Kentucky. Washington, Pennsylvania. Baltimore, Maryland. Nashville, Tennessee. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Winnipeg, Canada. Edmonton, Canada. Calgary, Canada. Avondale, Arizona, or Avondale. I apologize. Vancouver, Canada. Portland, Oregon. Seattle. Seattle, Washington, Sacramento, California. We're going to all those places, and we're headlining in all of those places. Ask um, your doctor. Yeah. Set it off, Paprol is right for you. <laughs> it's. A, I, I hope that it is. There's no negative side effects that I can think of other than a bitch in time. Yeah. So you should definitely come out and check out the show. Um, ripping where where in, can you get tickets? Where can you, you, Cody? Cody? Yeah. Where can you get tickets? You can get tickets at setitoffband.com. Where can you get VIP though? The, yeah, I was gonna ask. Is there some sort of like like experience where you can like take photos and play games and uh, and, and leave with exclusive merchandise and, and get in earlier oh. than everybody else? Yeah, yeah, and I believe that you can also get that at setitoffband.com. So you're you're telling me that I can oh. get tickets to a show and get hey, in hey, earlier buddy. and get this exclusive stuff at the same website? You're not that guy, buddy. You're not that guy. <laughs> You're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> um, apologies to Nepean or Nepion or Nippon, Canada, uh, and uh, Avondale or Avondale, <laughs> Arizona. Can, whoever's, uh, if you're watching this on uh, on YouTube, can you put in the comments how to properly pronounce it? Yeah, like help us out. Spell it phonetically. I yeah. do that all the time. We were just talking uh, about uh, this this person whose name is spelled S T E P H A N. How do you want to say that? Stefan. S-T-E- Stefan. Stefan, right? You say Stefan. Oh, I thought I would say Stefan. They were calling him Steven. I'm still I still have to figure out what, what his name is. So and I'm Steven. And I'm Steven. I was asking um, our manager Maddie, I was like, hey, do you pronounce it S T E F F hyphen on? So Steph on or just mm-hmm. and then I just spelled Steven. He said we've been saying Steven. This is yeah. riveting material. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, so we have some exciting stuff coming up other than the touring stuff that we can't really talk about, but it's just fun to tease it on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have some we have some songs that uh, that are really exciting and yeah. uh, some uh, new art that we did. Uh, yeah. Some new like, thing? single art. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And it's it's insane it's really really yeah, cool it's exciting it's cool to to and you know a little teaser here it's cool to to do songs with set it off and people not in set it off it's great yeah yeah so and there's one that i can that 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 people do know is coming but they don't know when or how or what 
um, I recently posted. I've been doing some co-writes since I've been home. Um, one just came out a few days ago. So if, if you're listening to this, check out this song. It's called STFU by Kaylee Morg. Um, that song came out. It's doing really, really well, which is sick. I went on, I went to check the sound on TikTok, and there was already a person that has like o- almost a million views on the song, wow. which is wow. which is awesome. Really stoked about that. But then I uh, did a co-write with an artist named Scene Queen. And I can't really say much more than that other than um, I I think I don't know if it was tweeted, but uh, Cinematics Cody came out a little bit. Yeah, it's, um, the, it's definitely the heaviest song that you've ever in a while. So that's <laughs> yeah. very exciting. Yeah, I, so, I literally heard it and, and did that thing where like I, I did like sit back in my chair like I'd been like assaulted by music. It was there's awesome. parts in that song where it punches you in your mouth. Um, but yeah, we're going through the process of that right now, which is really, really cool. And then, yeah, there's something else that there's a few other things we're doing that are on the way for you. So just some teases here and there, uh, you're, you're going to get sick of how much you're going to see us soon, which is cool. And we, we were playing some festivals. Um, we, as a band, you know, we played Warp Tour and played a couple festivals here and there, but I think this year we've, we're going to be playing more festivals than we have ever. So, um, we've got... I don't. Uh, do you have the, the dates pulled up? Because I know we're playing. Um, let's see, Four Chord Festival. Yeah, in, that's September tenth uh, in, in Pennsylvania, and mm-hmm. then we have Hearts on Fire Festival. Yeah, in, that is September twenty third through twenty fourth. It says on here, but yeah, we are in on Arizona. Only one of those dates. And then we've got. And then what? Hey, Max. And then what? Oh, and then we also have a Aftershock Festival. That's October seventh in Sacramento. Boom. Yeah, three festivals. Who's Who's headlining that one? Oh, uh, oh, what's their kiss? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> also, the date for the the Hearts on Fire Festival that we're doing uh, is on September twenty third. So yeah, yeah. So so again, get your tickets to set it off band.com. This whole podcast is just plugs. Let's I realized go, that I said something wrong at the beginning as I listed all those cities and I was like, we're headlining all of those. No, three of those were the festivals. So you can get the festival tickets at the same website. So you're telling me. That if I go to this <laughs> website, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah. there, but yeah, so we got the tour, we got a, t- a ton of content coming your way. Um, it's it's been a lot of fun. I, I'm also working on something that I kind of already posted about on my my personal like Instagram. Um, but I'm working on a cover of yeah. Stand Out from the a Goofy movie, which I am totally aware that this is this song that I'm choosing is for me. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, sometimes you got to do it just for you, you know? Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with it. I was basically, I was just working out and it came on, you know, like in Spotify, you can like a song and it'll just like add to your liked playlist. That's what I listen to is just only that a lot of the time. Sometimes I'll make a playlist, but um, yeah. it came, <clears throat> excuse, excuse me, it came on and I got super jazzed and I was singing along to it because nobody was in the gym but me. And I was like, this is great. I also hope nobody comes in while I'm doing this. And um, yeah. I was like, I got to do this. So it's coming together. I'm really excited I, about it. I will say, like, with with how TikTok's algorithm works, how it just shows it to people who it thinks it's going to like, yeah. I think that you're we're going to find very quickly all of the Goofy Movie fans. And this actually happened oh, with I hope so. uh, a band that we played uh, a festival with who I guess they started doing a lot of covers, but mostly Disney covers um, in, like, in a pop punk format. They were called the... Punk Rock Factory, I think is what their name yeah, was. Yeah, Punk Rock Factory. Um, and what do so, we want? Punk, punk Rock. Punk, punk Rock. <laughs> what do we want what at are the factory? We... <laughs> no, it was what a... we were making. We were, we were trying to think of like how somebody would chant their name. And it was like, what do we want? Punk Rock. Where do we want it? A factory. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> but um, yeah, but like they they just they posted on, on TikTok. And then it just showed it to everyone who was like interested in that. Who like, I think there's a big... Uh, crossover with pop punk fans and people that like Disney. So yeah. I have a feeling you're going to put it on there. And uh, what's the name of the guy? Not Powerline, but the oh, actual... Tevin Campbell. What Maybe a voice. Tevin Campbell will hear it and be like, I hope you know Tevin what? Campbell I like you. It. You're going to be in a Goofy Movie 3. A oh, more yeah. extremely, seriously extreme That would make movie. my life. For those who have no idea what this movie is, after this, please just cue it up. Cue up a Goofy movie. It is some of the most banging songs you've ever heard in your life it makes you yeah. feel like you can become the cool i thought all i had to do was ruin a pep rally at my school and then i would become the coolest kid ever um and also yeah. it made me want to be named max wish i was named max so you 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 lucked that's out right. over there that's right <laughs> 
There's also this very funny, we went back and rewatched it. And you know, sometimes you go back and watch something that you saw as a kid and maybe it doesn't hold up. The movie holds up, but you can tell they definitely cut some corners in animation. And I remember Zach <laughs> laughing so hard because there's a scene in a, there's a scene in a diner I forgot about this where there's uh they're talking and, you, and this is like towards the end of the movie so i feel like maybe they ran out of budget or something but there's a man it's actually it's actually a pretty intense scene it's yeah. where he's like about to confront him about changing the map and it's like a very pivotal scene of the movie of where there's like a huge confrontation that they're gonna have to get over you know classic second act stuff and Continue. Oh, but in the background, the entire time, there is a still shot of a cowboy hat guy <laughs> just smiling yeah. and not moving, not it's blinking. It's supposed to be a real person? Yeah, he's supposed to be, he's supposed to be like one of the people in the back of this diner, <laughs> but like they just didn't animate him at all. Yeah, and, and also Max's eggs are like switching from scrambled to sunny side up to bacon on them to back to scrambled to... <laughs> It's oh, like man. one of those TikToks where it's like movie mistakes you might have not noticed in Saving Private Ryan when the guy gets his fucking head shot off. <laughs> I wish I I want that to be a channel where they call things out but they do it aggressively. When the guy gets his fucking head chopped off. We were just talking about uh, uh, uh how there are certain things that work like on on TikTok to promote things or to get you interested and once you notice them they drive you insane like that kind of thing where like movie mistakes you might have missed the fake conversation between two people oh, I hate like it. we should have done for the promo to, to go like hey cody did you hear set it off is going on tour we're going on tour they're going on tour tell me more yeah well so what i've heard basically what? is that and so it makes you feel like you're <laughs> listening to two other people i don't know it, now, you're guy, gonna, now you're gonna see it on your tiktok and it's gonna drive you nuts I, what i hate is yeah. what, you know what bothers me is that like they could just have a normal conversation, mm -hmm. but they want, it's yeah. like, they feel like they have to try to trick somebody into like, one guy has to play the idiot. It's always, uh, there's this pair that does it for like Marvel rumors. And one of the two just is stupid, I guess. He's always the one <laughs> receiving the information. He's never telling his friend that he found something. If I had a friend that always told me stuff and I never knew something, I'd be like, well, I gotta provide something here i gotta <laughs> i gotta tell i gotta one of these days you know catch him up or like did you know this though instead of just like what no way he's so i he's know so nothing dumb. <laughs> he like can't even tell temperatures he's like holding a his he's like drinks hot coffee and he's like oh why oh why did it hurt did you know well, see the, the interesting thing about coffee is when you make it it can be hot and his friend's just walking him through tummy. life <laughs> Yeah. He he's starts like, choking on like, food. Did you know that if you move your jaw up and down before you swallow, you'll probably not choke? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> forgets how to breathe. All you have to do is open your dumb mouth hole. And then Wait, honestly, pretend I'm an alien. Teach me how to breathe. Oh, okay. Uh, so what we do on Earth is <laughs> we take our, uh, we have oxygen in the air and yes. we have to bring it into our body how and then so <laughs> we uh we make like a vacuum with our mouth and it sucks it what's into a vacuum our, what is uh, vacuum so if, <laughs> show me vacuum <laughs> yeah uh so it sucks air into your body uh and then uh and then you use that as oxygen to solve <laughs> math problems um <laughs> Honestly, you described it better than I. The, the process of in, of intaking air just sounds so hard to teach somebody how to do. Luckily, we just instinctually do it. But to be like, just become a vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> Telling somebody be a vacuum. Become, make yourself a vacuum now. <laughs> oh uh, my so god! So Max, you live in Florida now. What's that like? Yeah, I'm in Florida. Um, it's been great. Yeah, I. Uh, let's see. What have I done? What domestic what have I, shit have you been up to? <laughs> what oh, have you been so building or? I've been uh, setting up path lights in my home, and uh, inside everything... your home, no, like, like outside light, in the backyard, like, okay. like an emergency, like if the airplane's going down, <laughs> yeah. you have to fall. Just like the lights. flashing <laughs> lights, me with those <laughs> yeah. lights, just in case. Just what? I don't live yeah. anywhere I... near an airport. I'm just nervous <laughs> about it. A guy you hire just lives in your house, yeah. and he's like, "Follow me, sir. This way. This way." <laughs> Uh, no, I've uh, been setting up path lights, but honestly, I have been doing nothing but like uh, getting my shit together, like health wise. 
um, because on this last tour, it was a lot of fun, but I was basically on a steady diet of just milkshakes like two or three <laughs> times a day. And yeah. I was like, why do I feel so bad all the time? I feel like I enabled the fuck out of you, though, because every time I found a milkshake, because I knew you were enjoying milkshakes, I'd be like, Max, yeah. I got milkshakes. Man. And I went every time. So I've been, I've been like really fully dedicating myself to like try and get in a routine. So because of that, I got a grill. And oh! I feel like I have crossed a threshold of like adulthood now where I'm, I'm obsessed. I love it. I got an apron. I'm oh. all in. Yes, I love the what apron. What does your apron say? It doesn't say anything. I was looking for one. Daddy a, Grills. A... <laughs> Wait, you you went and got an apron and chose one that said well, nothing? The one that I wanted, <laughs> I couldn't find. So there's this really pot. There's this meme from ages ago where it's um, uh, it's a, a, a man and his dog, and they both have aprons on. And the man says something like, kiss the cook. And the dog says, um, I saw the face of God, and it was weeping. And I wanted that apron. <laughs> But That's I couldn't really find funny. it, so I just got nothing. Oh, you wanted the dog one? I wanted the dog one, yeah. Dude, Dude if I you love wore a tiny ass apron, <laughs> a dog tiny apron that only covered like a little bit above your belly button. <laughs> no, doesn't even serve a real purpose. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I will say uh, yeah, it's like choking you out because the hole for the neck is like it's got to fit. So it's got to fit. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, no, it's been good. I mean, as you can tell for anyone who's watching on video, I had to turn off my AC in this room because it's so loud. And so progressively throughout the podcast, you're going to see me sweat more because I don't know if you knew this about Florida, but it's fucking hot. So Do they have that as a category on your Apple Watch? Just sweat in a room just as one of the workouts? And, <laughs> sit and suffer. Sit and sweat. Yeah. <laughs> Max and yeah, I have I been in a, in a friendly competition, actually, via our, our mm -hmm. Apple Watches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be like, I used to do that with Max, but I don't do that anymore. I hate my Apple Watch. You hate it? I need to add you on yeah. there because if you you'll see one of us will complete a workout and then as soon as like twenty minutes later you'll see the other person completes a workout. <laughs> yeah, I'll be eating ice cream and playing Fortnite and I'll see like, oh, Cody just finished traditional strength and immediately I'm like, well, get my shit together, <laughs> gotta beat him. Uh, yeah, I had that on with you for a little bit, Max. Uh, mm -hmm. But I I don't uh, I don't like my Apple Watch because it's this is so boring. But it's connected to my calorie counting app. And then it, my app, if I burn calories, it says that this is how many calories I can still eat for the rest of the day. Mm. So it like, it like makes me feel like I'm not eating. Uh, like it makes uh, me feel good about overeating mm, or whatever. Gotcha. And that's like my biggest problem is because I'll be like, whoa, there's a whole new season of Shark Tank. 17 bags of chip <laughs> chips, please. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say the thing you don't like about your Apple Watch is that it's a it's a condescending asshole, which it is. It is. Like you're sitting down yeah. and goes, "Hey, bud, you want to stand maybe for once today? Yeah. What if you stood?" <laughs> one time I was taking a nap and it woke me up to tell me to be mindful. Like, I oh yeah, am Dude, unconscious, just... my guy. Like I don't. I was know the most you mindful you can imagine, and you yeah. ruined it. <laughs> yeah, I I don't like the Apple Watches either because it does stuff like that, and it'll randomly tell you your heart rate, and you're like. Yo, I wasn't thinking about that, and now I'm going to have to think about that, which is so fucking annoying. Like, just, like, playing video games, and there's, like, a, like an intense moment or something, and it's like, hey, just to let you know, bud, you're two seconds away from a heart attack. Keep having fun, though. I love imagining Apple Watch calls you bud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, yeah. bud. Just, like, doesn't yeah. want to be doing its job and really hates it's... you for it. Uh, Wait, is bud <laughs> condescending? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I don't... I think that it can be endearing, but it's very rarely successful. I think bun, a bud is like the uh, the more like tough version of when people say honey. Because that always really? feels condescending to me. When they're like, oh, honey. Oh, like, I yeah. Can, I, I, like it makes you feel like, like you're pathetic. Oh, life. honey sounds yeah. – you might as well just say, oh, you poor stupid idiot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what and, it is. Exactly and people, what it is. people who say – honey like that i feel like they're all npcs like they're not real people they're just <laughs> repeating they're repeating something else that they saw so that it's like they don't have an original thought in their fucking body. oh yeah it's just like oh i'll just say the same thing that i saw that got clapbacks at it so Dude, here we yeah, go oh my god the amount of times i go to see a comment section and it's the top liked comment is the same joke that's been the top liked comment on that i started unfollowing a ton of accounts i'm like i'm getting dumber Mm -hmm. Like that's like yeah. I, I'm I'm like, I'm I'm allowing myself to to be surrounded by people that believe that repeating the same joke constantly is the funniest option, and I'm like, no, not anymore. Let's think of original shit. Oh, God, it just drives me yeah. nuts. And not only that, but like, let's say the the original creator makes a successful post, 
sometimes I feel like they're then trapped. There's this person that I, I can't remember their name, but they do this like really, it's like a fine joke. It's like weird, but they've been doing the exact same video for like two years. Like I was just want to know what it this. is. I want to know what it uh, is. It's what something, is it's this, it's this, a girl and she's in a bathroom and it's like a, one of those like mm -hmm. pretend things where she's saying like, oh, they found your brother's body and they're like, where? And then they say under the Badusi bridge and then she, <laughs> and then she goes, well, I gotta go. And then they go, then they found the identity of who they did it. It was you. And then she turns around and says, you shouldn't have said that. And it's just, I'm not like, I've seen it for maybe two years. And I feel like they're stuck, like they want to do other things, but that's the only thing that the daddy yeah. algorithm is like, I like this, do it again. For my so, bidding, yeah. be this person for the rest of your life or until this app crashes. So dude, yeah. I literally screen cap something, which I won't show here because I don't want to put the actual person on blast, but this other person has dedicated their life to becoming a Pixar character. And like, they do like science things, but they got a full on bowl cut like change their appearance to match this Pixar character. And they wear this, these thick glasses and they wear the specific mm. outs, uh, this specific outfit. And I saw this and I was like, this is all they can do now online. And it's gotta be exhausting. Like it's one thing like, you know who has it really good is like, I think it's Mosh is it Mosh Moschino, Moschino Dorito. That person is, on TikTok can just be themselves and be yeah. comedic and they're, and they're fine. They, they don't ever have to stress about that. But then there was, there was one dude who he's really funny. He wears like these visor glasses. They're like sunglasses yeah. with a tiny visor on it. And mm -hmm. he just, he like sings in a weird voice and stuff. And he's, he's always a character. And one day I really commended him for this. Uh, came forward and was like, Hey, I just have to say that this is like becoming really toxic for my mental health. There's other things I'm interested in. I love music and this and that. And, um, and so he tried that and then he transitioned into doing just music yep. and just doing TikToks of him singing. And they weren't getting any, no one was biting on it. Mm -hmm. And so then now he has just decided to pervert entirely back to what his original thing was. He gave this, up on being himself. This happened with, um, uh, his character name was Onyx, but he, it was that the, I don't know. Notice me senpai oh my guy. God, so, that is so funny. Incredibly funny comedian, but he's also, I guess, a very talented writer. And so he was working on this movie and he like started, I guess he did a Kickstarter for this movie. And everyone was like, how is this Onyx character going to make a movie? He can't even do this and that. And he literally had to make a video being like, hey, guys, that's a character. This is me. And now you're making me break character because you can't figure out that that I don't act like that in real yeah. life. It's just I feel like and you say something like, yeah, Onyx can't, but yes, I can. <laughs> exactly. So I just feel like it's like that that chronically online thing where sometimes people just get so sucked into it that they like, oh, can't yeah. tell what reality is anymore. It's kind of scary. But at the same time, if you're making a ton of money, I totally get it. Yeah. I totally get it. You're, you you have to be yeah. a character. You're you're a character in a reoccurring series, and you make a ton of money for it. So mm -hmm. if you're happy, then fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would. Uh, I would definitely not be happy doing that. It would suck so much, especially if it was something that you did like on a whim on an accident or something. Yeah. And then there was like. Imagine it was like you fell a certain way, and it was a funny video, and you had to keep falling that way. Like breaking oh. your fucking hip, like literally destroying your body for the views. You You're know? describing God, jackass. Man. That's yes. jackass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I guess, but they, they, at least there's like some originality in between. Yeah, one, you know? they were the first to do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. or to make it popular. Yeah. 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 It's 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 dude. It's it's rough. But like they're. You know what I've been. Thinking... What? Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, I was just I was kind of just wrapping it up. I was just saying like there are some things that I do enjoy in there that like that aren't someone just totally manipulating themselves into what they think everyone else wants them to be. I try to make sure to like, like those ones so that they get rewarded. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Feel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, I was weird. just going to say that I'm like getting more into improv comedy lately in Los Angeles. Oh yeah. Trying to change the subject. So we don't spend 28 minutes on how much we hate TikTok. <laughs> I like it. I, I do like, like it. You just got to be careful, know. you know? Yeah, no, that, that I'm not saying I don't like TikTok. I am obsessed with TikTok. I just, I just also for the just let you guys know that what, what you guys just did terrible improv, terrible improv. Oh, I didn't yes, yes and. and I didn't yes yeah. and you're oh. supposed to yes and me. Please yes and me next time. All right. I would appreciate a yes and. Yes, Are there any and wanna... Zach is a bad person. Let's do an improv. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do? Do you want to do an improv? Yeah, yeah, let's try one. That sounds fun. Oh my God, there's a. 
There's going to be a lag, though. It's going to be really rough. All oh, right. Yeah. Uh, Comedic right. timing will be Hey, rough. guys. Welcome welcome to Improv with Set It Off. Um, so uh, I'm just going to need a place. I'm just going to need a Where are we right now? A bathroom. Okay. Bathroom's all right. Maybe maybe um, something else. Max? Uh, uh, two bathrooms okay. merged into one in space. It's a big space bathroom. All right, we're in this big space bathroom. I fucking hate that. All right, so uh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, I'm coming. I'm, well, here's me. I'm coming into the space bathroom. I hope nobody's in here because there are two of them, so there should be nobody in here. Are we oh. doing this with you? I don't know. <laughs> Or are we watching you just live out your life in a space double bathroom? I I hate that, that I did that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, also, also, the idea of someone calling out for suggestions and going, okay, fucking hate that. What's yeah. next? <laughs> It's because they they are the improv troupe, but they have an audience of one, and that person just yeah. has the worst ideas. Yeah, and he's so upbeat. Yeah, <laughs> two yeah. bathrooms, but in space. God damn yeah. it, Gary! Fine, <laughs> we'll do it Fine, in space. We'll a it. double bathroom. You are. I don't know. I don't know. I, I've been, but I've been thinking about trying to do like improv classes, trying to figure out how to do that. Um, because I do think it'll be really fun. They have to offer some around here, and that would be amazing. Oh, I know they, you saw Groundlings recently, which is where a lot of like top tier comedian co comedic actors have come out of. Yeah, I've been go I've gone a couple times now. Um, it's been really fun, but uh, but I'm yeah, I've been wanting about to your improv. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I was like, so I was like, yeah, you know what? I might actually be pretty good at this. First time I try, I'm. Literal dog you would have done great. I just I didn't know if we were supposed to join in or not. I was about I to just you hit you with the Michael again, Scarn. Again, you didn't yes and me. Wait, how was I supposed to wait? How do you yes and that situation? Because I, I said, Oh, I hope there's nobody in here. And then you're like, Are we oh, supposed to be doing this? No, with there's you? no one in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody's in there. Check another door. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like trying so hard to move the scene along, and you're like, No. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. All right, that's all my fault. You started it off well. What if I, would I open the door? Yeah, let's try it again. Let's oh, try yeah. it again. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right new location. Yeah. All right. Welcome to Improv Talk It Off Style. We got Zach. Uh, our cast is Zach, Max, and Cody. Um, so uh, why don't we just start <laughs> off with a place, huh? A uh, Western town. Oh, a Western town. Okay, great, great. I love that suggestion. Great suggestion from the audience. All right, that's all we get. And um, we're going to start with your applause. Here we go. Mm. Oh, it just coming into this old Western town. Oh, look at here, this pink-haired fella. What you doing? Oh, hey there. Good to meet you. My name's Pink-haired fella. I can't believe you got that right off the gate. Um, I'm just here uh, searching for cantaloupes. Cantaloupes? Yep. How many can? What do you need cantaloupes for? Well, I'm building a fort out of cantaloupes. It's this new thing I'm going for. Everyone's building stuff out of wood, and I think that that's just you know just using poor resources. So I just figured I'd use cantaloupes. Hmm. Aren't you afraid that they'll rot in the sun? Oh, green-haired man. <laughs> it's good to see you again. Somebody order a horse mates for cantaloupe. You're telling me you uh, have cantaloupes? Yeah, and it's on a horse because we're set in a period piece. I believe. Oh, I can't say this? for sure. <laughs> what is this well, period piece you speak of? <laughs> that's very interesting, horse mate man. Um, what? What? Why? Well, yes, and to that. <laughs> <laughs> I you started. Uh, thank you for your question. That's a great question. Um, I started horse mates because it seemed like a lot of people were having difficulty finding cantaloupes out here in this wild west town um is would you call this a real life application that you're creating here so that we can you can successfully give people searching for cantaloupes the cantaloupes that which they desire i reckon maybe we should take some improv classes <laughs> <laughs> because this is 100. going nowhere yeah, yeah oh, I, I would hey. 
I would love to take a class. I have no, as soon as I said the cantaloupe thing, I was like, where do you go from here? <laughs> yeah. Yes, and me, young man. Yes, and me. Uh, yes, y'all play me. any, uh, y'all play any good games lately? I have been playing so uh, much Horizon Forbidden West, it's ridiculous. Mm. I love it. I've been, uh, I've been playing Stray. Oh, me too. How is Stray? I'm about to start it. Um, I mean, it's, um, it's not, it's, it's mostly just be a cat and, uh, it's like a, what it what it really is is just like a, a puzzle game, but you're a cat, and it sounds that, fun. And yeah, it's really fun. Uh, the environments are insane. Mm -hmm. They like put so much attention to detail. Um, the way that they make you be a cat, like you have to do certain things that are very cat like, like knock shit off of a the like a countertop, and like Sorry. you can scratch up floors and the it's sentence, really fun. The way they make you be a cat is so <laughs> funny to me. <laughs> Being yeah, do. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's like you can't go through the game without being a cat. It's you, know? true. you have to be a cat. Yeah, they make yeah. you meow. The whole time. It's the entire time you're a cat. Yeah. For not even a second are you anything else other than a cat. It feels like somehow what cyberpunk should have been. Yeah. Except they make you be a cat. It's great. Okay, cool. Like, yeah. Cybercat. It's cy it's cybercat, essentially. Cybercat. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm into that yeah. idea. It's yeah, I've been playing that. So oh, what else? Fortnite. Uh, I haven't really been playing much. Oh yeah, dude, I tried getting into Fortnite again, and I, I had a couple drinks, and I bought a skin. I bought oh, Batman. Which one? I'm oh, Batman. Nice. Yeah, and it, I like it a lot. And I even bought the Batman soundtrack thing, and I'm like, this is how they get you. Mm -hmm. And then I started playing, and I, I, I'm playing on PlayStation now, mm -hmm. and I am significantly worse. Than when I was on the bandwagon. I think the matchmaking is switching up yeah, on me. Yeah, skill based matchmaking. And first, I think that, um, and I, I'm not, this is not a, a disrespectful thing, but I think Switch is for babies. Like, it's like <laughs> for a younger audience. So when no we disrespect, play, but yeah, when we play on Switch, we're playing with like people with pacifiers in their mouth. And yeah. then when we play on PlayStation, it's like, you know, like uh, serious young console teens. Gamers. Yeah, and I don't even. Yeah, it's just like kids with who are just like inherently good at video games. So. However, it did carry over the, all the things that I got from the Switch, so I wonder if it's if it doesn't matter. Is it, it crossplay? Yeah, it was I weird didn't for me. I have I had to get like I had to get all my stuff again. Really? Yeah. yeah like, I, but I I don't know if it just was like free stuff from before. I don't know. But yeah, yeah, it was interesting. Anyways, it's a fun game. Been enjoying it. I'm gonna play more of it. I, there's still a lot of things I don't know. I got murdered by somebody who then mm -hmm. took off into the night sky like Spider Man. I was like, mm -hmm. how? Oh, do grapple you do gloved. that? Yeah, they grapple gloved. Um, yeah. The worst part is when <laughs> they they murder you and then they like T pose on your grave and you're like, I bet you're eight years old and you just I I've li I've been on this earth I've created so many memories and you just <laughs> murdered me and now that's you're their, dancing. That's their core memory now. Yeah. is just that moment. I know. And you know if you met them they'd be like me me me. Yeah. Shut yeah, up, it's the kid. <laughs> it's my Dude, I, got, I told you that I got bullied by a kid right recently. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah, I did. Like, he I lives in your building and he's like outside your door. Like, yeah, he's like, like holding you upside down and shaking you for change. money. He's like eight. I have, to make, now. I have to make an extra sandwich every day because I know he's going to take one of them. Yeah, otherwise you're going to get a swirly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I, I was playing this, I was playing a VR game called Echo VR. And um, essentially, yeah, you, it, the chat mic's open, you're playing a sports game and you can like, the way you grab, you can grab people and you can like hit them. This kid grabbed me and was in my face and goes, you're ass. You are ass at this game. You suck, dude. You suck. I'm face to face with a digital avatar of what must be a nine, nine, ten year old just brutally assaulting me verbally. And do you know, I've never been tried so hard in my life. I wanted so badly to just come back and just say all these things. And I had to like hold it in. That was like the biggest rage suppression ever. It's like someone cuts you off in traffic and you're like, you know what? It's, it's you should go ahead. <laughs> yeah. That's rough. That's real. Yeah, VR can get can get pretty. Sometimes on VR chat, which I haven't used in a long time, it can get pretty heated. Did we already talk about that? About Zach being a witch doctor? I think we have. Oh, you guys yeah, made everyone yeah. do a backflip, and one kid had to do an actual backflip because his button wouldn't work. Oh yeah, dude, we were doing <laughs> so much. A kid we were, wearing a we VR were headset did a backflip. Yeah, we were basically we were basically just going into rooms and trying to fuck with people as much as possible. Mm -hmm. That shit is, that shit was so funny. And also it was when Max and I were living together. So we were doing that while being physically only six feet apart from each other. 
<laughs> and like in the VR world, both wearing headsets at the same time. God, it's so it's really fun. fun though. When you have a ton of space, it's the best thing ever. I love it yeah. so much. Yeah, I just started. It's um... funny. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say I started this game, Pistol Whip, where it's like a dancing. I love shooting that game. game. Yeah. So the the thing is, you have to squat a lot, and uh, I'm not a guy who squats very often. And so the <laughs> next day, I couldn't move my legs. Um, Did you have to do the thing where you had to pick up your leg with your own hands? Like, yeah, it was to like get a out lot of... of that. Like my oh. hammies were just tight. So. Oh yeah. 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 Pistol Whip is an hammy. awesome game. You had Wait, a what? Group, grew up with a kid named Hammy. Hammy, yeah. Tell us, tell hammy, us about Hammy. Hammy Lou fan. So is Hammy their God-given name? <laughs> no, I think his name was Hamilton. Uh, oh, went by Hammy. He, he, he went by Hammy, and he had a uh, he had like a big, like a sort of big family um, that would have barbecues on mm -hmm. Sundays. And um, did they make some of them? Did, huh? did, did they make did they make ham? Mm, see, see, I was getting there. See, <laughs> see, you know how a story works. And, uh, <laughs> and a part Hammy of Lufon. the story. So what did the yeah. what was the Lufon barbecue like? Lufon family barbecue. Oh, so uh, it was pretty chill. There was always a lot of people, but I would go in and uh, they would be like, some of them would call him Ham. And the I would set say of his Hammy. name's. Hammy, this story is fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what I love right now, I want this to be a recurring thing so badly, is that I want you to go into a story and we not know if you're telling a real story or or improv oh, okay. and then we can we'll just yes and regardless. And oh god. And then it'll it'll be like a subtle exercise, plus it could go anywhere, and I love that. Yeah. Yeah. So Hammy had two so one time I had to watch Hammy's uh uh family pets while they went out of town i don't know why they let me because i was like 12 years old and had no idea how to take care of pets mm -hmm. and they had every it was like going to a fucking zoo dude they had everything you can think of like iguanas uh rabbits uh turtles um a dog that's pretty <laughs> normal <laughs> um and i had to feed them and one time uh i fed the rabbits like lettuce or something and that sounds right they, they, yeah, and they didn't eat. They they weren't eating the lettuce, and I was like, "Why? Why won't you? Why won't you eat this lettuce?" So then I, like, looked underneath the bag, and it was like full of bugs, dude. Like the whole the whole lettuce head was like pouring bugs out of it. And then I didn't sleep well for like six months because I kept imagining <laughs> lettuce bugs every time I would go to bed. And also, <laughs> lettuce bugs is my new band name. Lettuce so bugs. Don't that's that. a good one. So is did this really happen? Yeah. I thought you were yeah. improving. <laughs> Hammy no, Lufan oh, doesn't sound like a real person at all. Hammy Lufan. That's real. Lufan, it. sorry, the Lufan. Also, I haven't talked to him in years. I doubt he listens to the podcast. So he's, but we're just blasting his name over and over again. <laughs> well, you can, you can bleep that or something. I am, yeah. um, I'm sweating. Dude, I don't know yeah. if you can tell for all the viewers out there, but I I am, can't tell. You you look like you're just glowing. I think you're just a nice, glowing. A red glow here. A little on. glisten. Yeah, Dude, that, guys, well, we're coming up on so uh, We're coming up on about 40 minutes right now. So, we yeah. should probably start wrapping it up. Um, Absolutely. Was there something else I was going to tell a story about at the beginning of this podcast? Uh, <sighs> we were I don't know, <clears throat> but uh, tell you what, I'll be editing this part out. <laughs> yeah, no, I had a feeling. The well, one thing I wanted to <laughs> Oh, I did. Um, I wanted to tell you guys, I had a bad day yesterday. What happened? Like a bad day. Um, it's just one of those things where the where the whole day goes wrong. Like anything mm -hmm. that can go wrong will go wrong. But here's how my day started. So, um, Shay has been streaming using this setup, and the uh, she likes the desk a little higher, so it was up there, and my my armrests were down, as you can see if you're watching the video, and uh, they were underneath. My desk here, and it's a standing desk. You can move it up or down because sometimes I get ADD and I need to move around. Um, well, I installed my MIDI keyboard to go underneath it, and it was just resting there. And I went to hit uh, one of the presets, which I thought was what it was not, and it started pushing it down onto the chair, and it broke my keyboard tray. And I was like, I couldn't stop it. I tried hitting up to make it stop, and it wouldn't until I heard a crack, and then it just broke. So my keyboard tray's broke, and that's how my day started. Then the other stuff. I don't know kinda... what a keyboard tray is. So it's, it's like I have this keyboard. Like, so under like for like playing keys, like for like you know this thing, the um like a piano. 
Um, but oh, okay. it, it was underneath my desk. I installed, I screwed it under there so I can slide it out to play and then slide it back in when I'm not using oh, it. Okay. okay. Well, that broke. Um, and then later I was like, you know what? We got some, some stuff coming up. I'm going to need some new clothes for it. I'm going to go check out Zara. And I walked out to Zara and I went out there and they had literally nothing, which is not a big deal. It, uh, that, that's minuscule. And then, um, I went back and I was like, oh, I'll go work on that. Co I'll go work on the cover. So I came back to work on the cover and I realized after listening more in intently, that all of the distorted guitar parts that I did on my, my Gibson Electric were all out of tune. There was at least like a few chords that were out of tune. So then I went to try to play it. <clears throat> Still, like some notes were in tune, some notes weren't. And then I started looking it up and it was like, oh, well, there can be an intonation issue. Found out my guitar is screwed. So that oh. has to get repaired. And, and I have to redo it. And then I asked Zach if, if I could use the, his guitar. We found out that's in the storage unit, which is 40 minutes away. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do about that. Um, I went to use Oh, dude, bass. that text was so funny. Oh, uh, my God. I was like, <laughs> you're like, can I use your guitar? <laughs> you're like, can I use your guitar? And I was like, yeah, but it's probably in the storage unit. And then I thought, and I was like, no, it's definitely in the storage unit. So then I was like, and by probably, I mean, it is. It is in the <laughs> And so that I might have to borrow from somebody else in the meantime, or until we can get up there, or, or depending. I'm I'm going there to get it fixed right after this. Um, and so then I realized that that I tried bass guitar, same issue. My my bass guitar has intonation issues, so that's going to cause a problem. And then um, to top it all off, there was these new little nightstands that I wanted for next to our bed. We've had the same ones for like f three years, four years. Uh, and they're white, so they are like scuffed up and they look bad. So I bought these new ones, measured it out, looked fine. I put it together. Took me about an hour and a half to put one whole thing together, put set it next to the bed, and I started laughing because of how comically small it is. Uh, and so I have to disassemble this whole thing, put it back in the box. So broken keyboard tray, couldn't get anything for content, uh, things coming forward. Um, all the parts I recorded were out of tune. And then um, the thing that I spent hours wasting my time assembling, I'm not even going to end up using. So damn. it was a bad day yesterday. Did you, whenever I have a day like that, I always like, try and do something like to treat myself like heroin yeah yeah or like ice cream you know yeah, yeah one of the two um what do you do heroin well, no, just, yeah just like a little treat like if there's like a yeah. you know just to, like add something nice well, heroin um yeah, no, uh, heroin, I was gonna ask, like yeah like did you do, did you get something nice for yourself to like pop um, off the day i didn't really because it was at the very end of the night mm. so i couldn't even watch so i sit sit down and watch tv I was like, I was watching Family Feud while putting it together, which amazing show. Amazing. Um, and then I was done and then I realized it didn't work. And so then I had to put it together, put it away and then just go to bed. <laughs> Do you know what my favorite thing about Family Feud is? What? Uh, the questions that are like, uh, when two couples are getting ready to bed or going going to bed and they're both naked, what do they do? And then someone will be like, they have sex. You're like, oh, you said it. You said they had sex. Yeah. yeah. And then he looks directly I, into the camera when it shows yeah. up on the board as if he's shocked. Yeah. yeah my yeah, favorite. Like, Bro, you set him up so much for that. Like, yeah. What is one plus one? It's two. Oh, he said two. Crazy, man. <laughs> Uh, I saw a weird one yesterday where it was a sexual question when they come up to the first head to head round. Right. And one of the guys, I don't know why you would decide to be the front person for your for your team if you are literally a pastor. <laughs> oh. So the answer was obviously like sex or something you wish. Uh, yeah, it was like sex or something. Like, it was the obvious answer. And he wouldn't hit yeah. it because he didn't want to say that. <laughs> so he Family just had to lose like one for his team. Family Feud is, like, surprisingly pretty horny. Yeah. Oh, dude. Like, Even before Steve Harvey, there was a host that would just go up and kiss people. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, not okay. Those videos are, <laughs> that shit's fucked up. He's creepy. Yeah, that's weird stuff. <laughs> um, do you yeah. think that if we were on Family Feud that we would do well? I do. Mm, yes. Yeah, we've watched a lot of it. Yeah. yeah. It's always I on. don't know, though, because I think I would, like, the moment, the pressure of the moment, maybe it would throw me off. And then also I would think that like, I'd want it to be memorable. So mm -hmm. I'd want to be like, they'd be like, what's a cowboy's favorite shoes? And, and then you could be like, horse tranquilizers, you know? <laughs> I think the hardest it's part. it's so wrong. Yeah. yeah. With that stuff is if, if you notice, like, the, uh, in all those game shows, they have to act so excited the entire time. So uh, yeah. I think that would be the hardest part. Because I feel like I'm not very good at, if I'm not enjoying something, it's really hard for me to pretend that I'm enjoying something. Yeah. Um, and sometimes I'll think I'm doing a good job, and then someone will come up and be like, why you look so pissed off? I'm like, oh, damn. Um, Dude, the hardest so, part. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. 
it's just the energy, like the energy yeah. required to stay at that level for that long is like a skill that you need to have. So to piggyback off of what you're saying, I I, I know only me and you, Max, did let's make a deal. Mm -hmm. And when you, you before you're a contestant, you're an audience member, and you there's producers that are on the set before the cameras get rolling, and they have to warm you up, and they have to keep you warm, they have to keep you at a good temp for the whole show. It, I think I'd rather be on stage all time on like Wheel of Fortune or like Family Feud than be in the audience because what they require of you is to dance constantly. Mm -hmm. Like can you imagine like. It's one thing you're at a wedding and you can choose to go up on the dance floor and then you go up, you do your little thing. You're like, I've had my share. You know, I'm, I think I'm done dancing for right now. But then someone comes up behind you and goes, keep fucking dancing yeah. now. That's game if, you don't, if you don't dance, you won't get a piece of cake. You won't mm -hmm. get that. And that's what they did. They're like, if you don't dance, they're probably not going to get selected because they want people that are energetic, which makes total yeah. sense. And they have to do that. Mm -hmm. But dude, it was so funny just to be yeah. like, all right. Everyone there is just like moving mm -hmm. the, the, like the, the littlest amount that they possibly can. <laughs> yeah, that's why you never see anyone who like wins a prize and then is like, nice, man, thanks. Yeah. They're always like <laughs> screaming and running around. Yeah. Like, oh, dude, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the uh, the prize. Are you excited though? You don't yeah, see? Yeah, sure. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, but like the other person before you like was literally screaming at the top of their lungs so loud they threw up. You just. Yeah, well, you know, I'm just, you know, it's, it's good. It was a, it's a good prize. I like it. You're going, you're going to Japan for yeah. a month. Yeah, I guess I am. So it'll be cool. Do I have to dance more now that I got the prize or do I need to? I mean, I guess technically you've already come down here, so well, you, you just give me those tickets. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'm actually the dance coordinator, and uh, I'm getting pretty pissed off that you're going to stop dancing after you, after you get your gift. Well, I was hoping uh, that instead of that, I could get cantaloupes because I'm trying to build a Western house. <laughs> but I got this trip And to that Japan. in the industry is what we call a callback, and we're going to wrap this up. Let's I go. love that. Trading in a trip, a month-long, all-expenses-paid trip for just a, an Dude. assortment of cantaloupes. Mm -hmm. Perfect ending. Literally. I just said we were going to wrap it up, and then you wrapped it up. Well, the afterwards. interesting thing about wrapping <laughs> what's up What's it trying that? to wrap up your wrap-up? I'm double, We're double wrapping it. We don't want people to see what's inside. It's a gift. It was, so it was done, and then you continue to wrap it up. I just think it's, you know, it's a perfect – it's what we call a uh, callback in the industry, and I think that all, that's a really I'm cool saying, thing. All I'm saying is that my toes are hurting because you keep stepping. I will say, <laughs> and, and on the subject of wrapping up – I don't know. It, the, only the viewers can see this, but it is so funny to me. Sometimes we'll have to do a call, like a like a conference call or something. And as a joke, if me and Zach are in the same room, sometimes Zach will do the the wrap it up motion. Just okay. he'll just start going. <laughs> Dude, because there's always that one person at the end that's like, oh, like trying to justify their desk job, and they're like, um, actually. I was thinking maybe if we did exactly what you guys said, but we did it in the color blue. What do we think about that? Can I still work here? <laughs> like, I know that I haven't said anything and my job is to say things. So what yeah. if the same thing before, but just slightly different? Yeah. yeah. And there's always wind. Every like someone's time. always like walking through a wind tunnel and they didn't need yeah. their mic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why there's it's this the sound of. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Yeah. Anyway, wrapping right, up. Boys. Huh? Well, so to, so to wrap to up the wrap up, I, I just think that if we could just circle back and yeah. let's go through everything we talked about today. Okay. All right. Been, been trying to end the podcast for eight <laughs> minutes now. So. Totally kidding. No, so yeah. we have to do our, 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 our outro thing, which is also an improv oh, yeah. exercise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the song. But it's first, so much harder. Set it up and com for the, for the tour and the VIP. Set it up oh, and yeah, yeah. com. We're doing Canada and mostly and other no, dates that are not are in Canada, Canada, but they are. are. Um, um, so here we so, go. Here we go. Here's the song. song is, this is the, the song. song. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Thanks, Thanks for, listening for listening to, to the podcast. The podcast. There's, There's a delay, delay so it's so all so sounds. And, <laughs> and you're, you're singing you over, over me, me and the podcast. The podcast. Cody wrapped it up Wrap like 70, 70 times. times. <laughs> All, right. All right. Perfect. See you boys later. See ya. Bye.